Woo! How's it going, folks? Millie, what are you doing? You want some crawfish? Hey, you sit. Can you sit? Can you sit? Does that mean back up? Can you sit? Why does she do this? Why are you like this? You're so cute. You're so cute. I don't have anything, but we do have crawfish. You want crawfish? I don't think you've ever seen crawfish, have you? Kind of a big deal. You like the fit, by the way? This is uh, it's what we call the old fromper. Farm romper, limited edition, coming to googlesquad.com, hopefully soon. But we've got this, some packages. It says perishable, must ship today. They just got here. We're gonna open them up, see, what, see what's perishable, and see what had to be shipped today, see what got delivered to the old address. You guys stay tuned. Here we go, folks. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Big mystery here, Millie. It's a big mystery, Millie. Oh, snap. What, what do we got here, folks? Oh, we got biggins, folks. Oh, yeah, there's kegers in there. The old oh, crawfish, yeah. son. Yeah. So, our boy at Beamer Fisheries, he hooked it up fast. Sending us some delicious. Oh, what's in here? What's this? What is this? I think that's oh, that was an ice pack? Oh, yeah. that was an ice pack. You got that one in the box? Oh, God. Yeah, you can really see them in yours. Look at this. Look at all these delicious looking crawfish. Millie. You know what we got these for, Millie? We got them for our pet bass. You know what's gonna happen? We're gonna stick them in our mouth. We figured, hey, we're gonna order some crawfish. Let's order some extras. So we ended up getting three, was it 350? I think. Oh 350 God. or 400 crawfish, a lot. We're gonna hang on to the kegers, like the biggest, chunkiest of the chunks. We're gonna hang on to and do a crawfish boil. I've never done that before. Never, I've had it one time. Never cooked it before. I don't know how to cook it. Have you ever cooked it? Yeah. You, no, you haven't. Yeah. You've, you've personally done this. Yeah, I did it with my dad, but I've done it. Yeah. How do you do it? You get one of those, like your turkey fryer thing. Okay. And you have it in a, like a, a Holes okay. in it. Yeah, a cage. Basket. Yeah, okay. a basket. Then put what? some shrimp, some potatoes in it. Okay. You have to put like different stages. How long like, is this gonna take? I mean, over an hour. Over an hour, he yeah. says. The so, potatoes have to like do it the longest, of course, and stuff like that. So this is gonna be it's a gonna probably be delicious. A, this is gonna be a trip to Walmart, probably. That's how usually all our adventures go. Um, we'll go get all this, but we what we need to do first, we need to sort. Uh, we need to sort the crawfish, take the biggest ones, we're gonna keep them. The rest of them, we're gonna run down and throw them into the pet bass pond to feed them because crawfish will make the bass grow big. So first things first, we gotta start reaching our hand in there, hopefully not get pinched, sort some of these crawfish. You just you just say yay or nay? Oh, I mean, that's a good eating size, don't you think? Yeah. Millie, what do you think? I would do, like, try to do those. What do you think that is? Look at that guy. What's his name? It's Mr. Frickin' Krabs. Look at him. He's chilling. He's gonna pinch you. You gotta be careful. You're getting danger. Crikey, mate. Back up. Oh, my goodness. You got, you got big chunkies. Oh! 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 Millie, Millie, no. Millie, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that got me good. You, not, you guys saw him. You got Millie, no. Millie, no. Throw him in there. That guy is huge. That's oh. like a lobster. Millie, no. Big chungus. That you, one got me. Big good. chungus. <laughs> That hurt. I saw me grab him and it just went up and went. Pinch. He had both the pinchers, one on <laughs> each finger. All right, go ahead and just dump them all in here and then we'll sort them from the neck. Okay, yeah, we're doing all right. Oh, yeah, I see, I see freaking. Keep going? I see Larry the Lobster in there. You, you're gonna have to like dump up the rest of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, big chungus right there. That's good. Oh yeah. Ah! 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 Millie, watch out. Oh, big chunky. Oh, shit. Come on. Ah! Get you? Yeah, oh yeah. Let's get keggers out of the other one. Maybe there's more keggers yeah. in the other one. So we, we sorted like 10 out of the first bag, so we're gonna work on the second bag and see if we can find more. Give her a hell, Ricky. Oh, two, oh, two, two, like three. two for one right there. Oh, yeah, that's a big chunky. Oh God, what are, you, what are you doing? Look at that, one arm wonder. He ain't even got another arm. That's a big claw right there. You know what he does in his free time. That's all the big chungus is, that's in here, it looks like. So we got, what do you think, 20 maybe? That's not bad. It's not, we're not going off folks, because we're going to get shrimp, we're going to get corn, potatoes, and dewy, all that good stuff. So this, the rest of this and this, we go feed them to our pet bass. So we're going to go ahead and stick these guys back in here. The bass are not going to be hungry for a while. Like this should, this should probably. I would say if they eat like even five a day. I mean, this is going to be like yeah, a couple weeks worth of food. So we're trying to bulk our bass up. It's bulk season. We got to take these down and uh, go feed them to our bass. Stay tuned. Shoo! 
what we made down to the animals, folks. Pig, what are you doing, buddy? I know you still miss your brother. So, if you guys are new, we got Cooney Cooney pigs. One of the pigs, the male, got salt poisoning from lack of hydration because he just didn't drink enough water. Like, you can see we obviously have enough water. We've got a whole splash pool for them. We've got water there for them to drink. And then another, we have three water, okay? Little anchor. We got three waters. And your brother decided not to have any of it, did he? No, he didn't. So, he's still in the, uh, he's in the vet right now. He's still kind of getting, they've got him on an IV and stuff. We're not, I mean, we think he's going to make it, but it's, it's a slow recovery right now. But anyways, we kind of made it down to, uh, we made it down to the pond here. Well, they already have goldfish. So, so I wouldn't say the bass are probably super hungry because they're still live goldfish. And if they're still live goldfish, then they're probably not hungry. But I would say, Lucy, what are you doing, bud? You want to come join? You want to come join? You want some crawfish? You want some crawfish? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go get a drink with Mel. Go get a drink. Show her, Millie. There you go. Get your hydration on. But we're going to go ahead and throw um, the crawfish in here. But before we do that, we're going to take this and we're going to put our the crawfish we want to eat in here. Pull the plug and kind of let the water circulate. So what you use, you pump water in, it pumps water out, and it just, it'll just clean up the crawfish. Not that these are dirty crawfish, but Lucy, what do you think? You know what I mean? They don't smell fishy, so that's good. That's Rob, exciting. I should call Rob. Rob had a bad crawfish boil one time, and like he got like deathly sick from it. Wait, really? Yeah, like it's if they're dead and then you cook them, uh... you'd like get kachowed. So don't let them die. Yeah, go ahead and give them a dump. Uh, Millie, no, back no. up. Good job, Millie. You're killing it. All right, let's go get some water. It should hopefully fill up faster than it's draining. Should be close. I mean, the water looks pretty clear so far. The real question is, can they breathe air, or do they? Can they just hold their breath really long? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, obviously, they they breathe underwater, uh, I right? I mean, the water's pretty clean. We'll just let her rip for a bit. Let's go feed our bass. So the rest of these guys. All right, bass. It's your lucky day. Dude, look how many crawfish are in here, though. I mean, it's like there's at least a hundred in there. There's a couple big keggers left, but we'll, those are for the largest. They'll, they'll munch on them. We're hoping that it doesn't eat through our liner. I don't think they would. I mean, this liner's pretty. I don't. They don't just go around pinching stuff. They're not that kinky, so I think we'll be all right. Here you go, bass. <laughs> Bony apple feet. Oh god, look at them all. They're so crazy to watch. Like when they swim, they just go like. Oh, looks yeah. like we might have lost one or two, but not too many. Oh, rip. Well, does he think this guy's KO'd? What's he doing? It's the old top water tactic, huh? I mean, these bass, since we can't see, we haven't really been like feeding on a daily basis for you guys because you can't see them. So what we've been doing is while we're waiting for new products, because right now we're waiting on products to come in, new filters, chemicals, you know, plants, all sorts of stuff to make this pond good. And we can't get the water to get clean. We've just been feeding the bass like crazy to get them bulked up. So what we've been doing is they've got at least 25 big goldfish in there. Now they've got a hundred crawfish in there. And by the time they're done eating all this, we should have the pond all cleaned up and nice and uh and good looking um so that's why you guys might wonder well why didn't you hand feed him why didn't you you know save the crawfish and every day do it so we can see it because you guys can't see is he alive oh he's toast catfish might eat him There's, there are some catfish in there still so we, we have two big catfish three big bass two small bass uh and that's pretty much it because the, the walleye died but anyways these guys are taken care of they got the rest of them we'll go check on our, our little crawfish they don't look too bad i think they're they're good we kind of cycle them through and then we're gonna have to run to walmart and if you guys are wondering why don't you go trap your own crawfish you know we posted a video not too long ago we ran to the bridge down the road and we trapped it was like what seven i mean we got a good amount of crawfish but if you guys remember it's the soggy wiener bandit he came and he stole our traps in that video well we wanted to make a catch clean cook crawfish trapping video and we only really have one good spot that has good clean water that we trust and that's the bridge by my house and the soggy wiener bandit struck again and he stole two more of our crawfish traps and so i was personally tired of buying crawfish traps to put there because the soggy wiener bandit kept stealing them so instead of doing that or trying to find a new spot to get crawfish but all of our spots are like old riverbeds and like personally i don't want to eat that because after rob's horror story of heat like he literally said he was like deathly ill from crawfish because they were just like were, weren't good i want like clean creek crawfish and we don't really have any clean creeks in any of the other you know land that we own and that we hunt and we hunt and we fish and we do whatever so anyways long story short the soggy wiener bandit struck again stole the other traps we ended up not putting any more traps in called my boy beamer he's sending us crawfish to save the day video that's the backstory on it with that being said let's go to walmart Shoo! all right folks we made it to the good old-fashioned walmart this is the walmart fit if you've ever seen a outfit that would describe the experience you get when you go through walmart i would say it looks about i'm gonna count like this. how many people laugh at you i've already counted one you want the smoke <laughs> i'm gonna count i'll, I'll tell you, you when we're out what do you want it's one right now what is bb you see him he's just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> at you. 
First things first, anytime you're gonna be doing a little cookout, crawfish boil, you gotta get the drinks, Bonzo. What are you, what are you feeling right now? So we've got, I'm trying to think what would go best. We've either got, oh, look down here. We've either got the classic White Claws, your favorite, Mike's Hard Red's Lemonade, not. some Reds, Angry Orchard, Bud. Have you ever had Bud Light salt? Is, yeah, it, is it good or is it not good? It's all right. I was feeling some bush you lights, but. You bush? You like, you seem like a bush guy. Yeah, what about a Twisted Tea? Are you vibing on Twisted Tea? It's like I'm, summer vibes. Man. I'm not 18. Don't disrespect the Twisted Teas, bro. Right. Are you off ice? Screwdriver. driver. All right, let's just get ices. All right, we're gonna, uh, you, you down with some ices or what? Sure. I mean, what is this? What, nothing's more American. Red, white, and berry? Nothing's more American, Cajun, yee yee, summertime vibes than this. Than the old red, white, and berry ice? Red, white, and berry ice. Is that spicy wiener? And dewey. Smoked. You need like, like a spicy. Yeah, like a kielbasa. I mean, and kielbasa, sausage. The seasoning will give it the spice. Yeah. Do you think a beef smoked sausage? Yeah. The real question is why is this the only sausage that's left? Yeah. Or there's smoked sausage. Pork, turkey, beef, or just beef? Just beef. You want just beef? Just. So we can get two. But there's a chance Macy already has the goods. Yeah. So starting it off, two wieners next to our Smirnoff ice. Next up, we need potatoes. We need corn. We need an onion. We need shrimp, lemon, seasoning, and a pot. We have a lot of stuff. Let's go. I say we just get some tilapia, no? We went super colossal. Oh, 100%. But that's got the tail on and everything. The tail on's not bad. You gotta peel them? It, no, it's still, it's easy peel, deveined, tail okay. on. Okay. So it's already deveined, no head. I think two, probably two. Yeah. Shrimp, check. Listen, if this, does not scream American. Is this the Twinkie holder? Yeah, it's what the, my frock is for. My frock is for holding Don't a, do single, a single Twinkie. We're getting it. We have to. We're all we're just an all American video right now. Nothing's more American than a Cajun. Than you. Also true. These are the ones you want right yeah. here. Yeah, just get a little sack. Everybody loves a good sack of red potatoes. Potatoes, chip. We probably need. Let's go off on the lemons. Do you know I can juggle? No, you can't. But red onions red what you need. But like they should sell them individually. Because it's somewhere. for a roast. Do we really need onions? I mean it will add taste. Will it? What, yeah. if, what if you add onion powder? That's what I'm saying. I mean probably. Or do you just want to get one of these? Just get one. I don't really want to sack them. That's a sweet it's onion. Sweet. Wow. Dude, there, there's a shortage of red onions. That, that's gone too. Yeah. This, I'm sure it'll taste great. This one, it's a little terrible. How about this one? You like that shape? No, I don't like that shape at all. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Right? Hey guys. No more video. Yep. No more gotcha. video taking. Got it. 1040. Hey guys, how's it going? Karen Karen uh, told us we can't film. I respect you, Karen. But Karen, we got a vlog to finish. This is a Walmart crawfish challenge. So we're picking up some Zatarain's shrimp and crawfish and some twisted fire roast and Cajun. So for now, you guys are going to get the rest of the vlog, which we're almost done, from this POV. Karen told us we can't film. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we left Walmart. Poor Karen. Karen, we, we were trying to get the, the secret vlog. Karen w walked past and was like, your camera's still on, as if that matters because it's in a shopping cart filming nobody, filming absolutely nobody but myself, minding my own business, trying to, you know, I'm promoting their store. In fact, they carry Guggen Squad and Guggen Bates. Like, they carry products that my name is on. I don't see any reason why I can't go in there and vlog. So we're, we're dealing with it. We're, we're talking with uh, people at corporate to see if we can actually get permission because it's pretty frustrating, like planning a whole video to go to Walmart and like film a whole video and again, promote their store. And then for them to kick us out for literally zero reason. It's just a little frustrating, folks. It's nothing new, but it is frustrating because you got Karens on power trips that try to, you know, control stuff that they think they have control over. And like, it's just, I don't understand it. I, she, she tried to say that customers complained. No customers complained. I didn't film any customers. I'm vlogged. I'm not filming the store. Either way, long story short, Walmart freaking sucks. But um, they suck to filming at least. They're great people, but just, they need to get it figured out. They need to get clearance from corporate to let us film because what's the point of, you know, having our products in there for us to promote and for you guys to go and buy without us being able to, in there. Anyways, long story short, we got all the goods, folks. We're headed back home to do my first ever crawfish boil. You gotta stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks, here we go. Look at this spread. It's just, there's nothing more American than this. And, uh, well, you, Pool just reminded me. He's like, should we try the TikTok where you do like a ting, 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 boom? Is it, is it that? Is it ting, 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 and then hit? Is that what it is? You're, uh, you're TikTok lord. That's you. It's two on the bottom, then one, one and then, then that. Okay. Are you going to try it? No, I'm going to mess it up. Are you going to try it? I mean, I'll just I give it a swing. Go you go ahead. I, I don't know the whole, the whole ting, hold. ting thing. Yeah, like how hard you hit it. I don't know. You got it. This wind is sick, well, by the way. Which way is the wind coming from? Oh, it's going. That's why we're getting 
getting we're getting flanked. I mean, let me Terry, Terry back it up. All right, give her hell. Let's see it. You gotta go. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know the whole ting ting. You gotta do go no. You, you gotta got do the Macy ting. Do you, do you know what it you is? You have to do the ting. Oh, Macy knows. No, it's, it goes. <laughs> Why dun, are you doing it at Andrew? First, first off, <laughs> first off, I just about died. Second off, you, you go two, one, and that. No, you do top bottom. Uh, what kind of TikToks you watching? She's been watching TikToks. Is it top bottom? I thought it was yeah. bottom top. Yes, I'm saying you know. with you. Yes, right? for sure. No, it's no, done. It's it's up. You're wrong. Okay, I'm you pulling try. it up. I'm you pulling try. it up. We're pulling the taco. Oh, you were right. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I mean, God. I don't know. How. I hit it a little harder. Really you gotta hit it harder. Oh, oh. That was so dumb. Why would you do I mean, that? <laughs> Millie! Millie. I got glass in my mouth. Yeah, that's no, bad really. work, did it. That wasn't, I don't think, I mean, you almost had it. There's glass everywhere Listen, in here now. It's called the leaf blower. Really? Watch this. Hold my smear off. Let me grab a leaf blower. Oh my god. <laughs> <I'm lucky. laughs> We're good. Here we go, folks. A little lemon. Did uh, they juiced it? So probably just half, and then squeeze, and then drop it in. I mean, maybe wait to cut up the lemon too. Oh, that's juicy now. <sighs> All, right. All right. How do you cut an onion? All right. On to the next thing. Let's chuck some corn. You just gotta pull this. You gotta pull this off, right? I've done this before. Okay. Grew up, grew up in Nebraska. Corn, corn husker. Haven't done it in a while. So I think you just gotta pull this thing. Gotta undress your corn. Look at that. Onions. All right, so we're quarter this sucker up. I mean quarter. I would say probably thirds Cheese and rice. Why is this corn so freaking stout? Yeah. All right corn we're gonna thirds it up bonzo back with the pot yet bonzo's on pot duty gonna get that thing filled up with water There you go. All right. Three more to go going in for the onion I might start crying Okay. Take off that like outer layer too. Peel this off. Onions have layers. I learned that from Shrek. You learned that from Shrek? I don't know what part of Shrek you're talking about. He talks about onions having layers. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Where it's have good. I been? It's a good movie. Hey, you're on pot duty. Congrats. Pot. We've uh, we've got her we got her cooking here. We're getting her going. All right, let's get the fire going. Crank the old propane to open. Millie, Millie, this is not a place for dogs. Fire in the hole. Oh, snap! Cheese and rice. That was a good one there. My eyebrows are gonzo, Bonzo. All right, Millie. Let's get naked again. You, woo! That right, time, we're not even one smear knob deep. Should we just put it in the shop? Yeah, let's just put it in the shop. That way we don't have to worry about the wind. Bring water to a roiling boil. Phew! So bring it to a boil. Yeah, and then put your seasoning in for five minutes okay. and then squeeze the lemons put the lemons in got it and then you put the onions your, and taters yeah then you add your potatoes corn sausage and onions okay and allow it to boil for 10 minutes okay then you that's when you add your crawfish okay this one doesn't call for shrimp but i know shrimp's the last step with so, the crawfish yeah same time as the crawfish okay so we're gonna let this get to a boil let's go get to preparing the rest of the meal so we throw the onions in the sack throw the corn all right bonds let's see how big of a beefcake you are cut it don't even quarter just do thirds thirds well you're gonna do it with bare hands who do you think I am? This guy's a beast. What did you want me to do it with? I did it with a knife and it was really hard. I forgot I had- That was pretty simple. Forgot I had the beefcake. Let me let me see if I'm able to do this. Oh, it's easy. You're gonna be able to do God it. God dang it. How do you do that? All right, the knife is not the strap. Oh. Okay, corn, check. What about the uh, lemons? We'll have to, we'll wait, cause then, cause I rolled them. Rolled them? It's a it's thing? A, it's a hack. What does it do? Feel it, it feel how juicy it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's juicy. That's that's a juicy it's lemon. It's what about the old taters? Um, probably have them, huh? Half to quarter. I mean, bite size wouldn't be bad. Probably half. Start having have. Grip. <laughs> Do you like to see a potato like this? No. <laughs> he did not do that. That's pretty good. No, it's not. It Try isn't. it. If you put a little salt on it, it's way better though. Give me, give me a little, give me a tater. Why would you do this? You're not a fan? Why would you eat this? It's good. It just tastes like ass. I don't know why anyone would ever do that. 
See, Macy? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's about the same. We do. We, we rock about that strap. So you cut them at an angle. How's this one? Spicy. Cut them at an... That's kind of an angle. You gotta look at it a little, with your head turned a little bit. If it's at an angle, that's the spicy andouille. So there's a few different ways of doing this. Bonzo found a recipe that literally said you throw everything in but the crawfish and the shrimp at once. And there's some that say do lemons and boil with your seasoning for a bit. And basically this one just said just do it all at one time. So all this plus the meat says at once. And then it's shrimp and crawfish yeah. second. This and this first and then for like five minutes. And oh, then and that. then all this. So let's just let's get put this, your meat in your bag. This is a fun bag. This is a goodie bag here. It's like Halloween. This is like Halloween. All your goodies are in Imagine your bag. going trick-or-treating come back with this. I'd be freaking stoked. <laughs> all right, let's go in there and see what's going on. All right, so you go ahead and throw your seat, throw the seasoning and I'll okay. hold the lemons. Going in hot, the old seasonings. So you're, that you, smells you think good. That's funny. Oh yeah, that's a lot. I mean, we're not making it for a hundred people. Also true. Cool. Do you smell that? Oh, Woo. got it in my Woo. eye. Oh. It's spicy. Oh yeah, give it, just give that a this? splash. It's like they said, a tablespoon. They say it goes a long, it goes a long ways. What's that smell Ooh. like? Oh wow, that my just, eyes are burning. Just a touch. Just a, I'm just gonna do it in here. So yeah, I know. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's the secret ingredient. That's right the there. secret. That's the secret sauce right there, folks. So we're gonna get to uh, lemon squeezing. Oh, it's juicy. Oh God, we're squirting. Oh, cheese and rice. She's she's all about it. Oh yeah, I think Macy's squeeze tactic was the deal. The old roll tactic. Oh, wow. Oh, it's cheesy nice. I didn't mean to drop that. That's gonna be tasty. Oh, cheesy nice. Here you go. I got one more. Oh, that's good. The old stickers in there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, sticker has protein. I heard. Wow. There you go. That smells fire. Cover it up. We need to let this thing boil. Get to a roaring boil for five minutes, then we stick everything else in. You know what I kind of want right now? No, we have. Kind of want. Kind of want a Twinkie. I'm kind of vibing on the Twinkie. You want to uh, try it? A Smirnoff and. Twinkie. I want a Smirnoff and Twinkie. Ooh, look at this, spicy. You know what's crazy about Twinkies? You forget how amazing they are, and then as soon as you stick it in your mouth. Oh my God! Oh, Twinkie. And we put the meat in and all that. How long does that need to go? 10? Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you yeah. think I can mow the lawn before we have to add the meat? Before we add the meat? Mm -hmm. It's not at a boil yet. That means I've got at least five minutes. I can get into it. All right, let's go. Move, Millie. Seen a grown man most front lawn in one minute and 50 seconds? Not in a fromper. Listen, this thing rides up nice too. You're sitting there like this. Is the the question is, is it ready? It's not, because it's only one minute and 50 seconds. Mow the lawn in less than two minutes. Beat that. Has it been given a roaring boil for five minutes? Oh god, yeah. Wow. She's she's roaring all right. How'd you guys like the old speed eraser? Mow lawn mowing. I was telling the boys, I'm like, boys, I gotta mow my lawn today. We decided to make it a challenge and I mowed it in less than two minutes. So this is the real question is, how do you add this without just 
absolutely splashing everything. Just one one by one, add the wieners. No, I'm gonna say, ah, oh, fuck! Man down. God this dang! Is, this is why you have a thing and you just like set it in with everything. The ground's clean. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. That got on my thighs. That's when, it, that's when <laughs> the, old, the old front first not the deal. Millie, get Millie, back. quit eating the kielbasa. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I think some nuts and doing. It is. A little plastic bag is, it doesn't hurt nobody. Come on, get out of there. Was it stuck? Oh, that's <laughs> You just, sorry. The amount of times I got burned. I'm gonna have third degree freaking burns by the time I'm done with this. This All is right. why I don't do this. All right, 10 minutes. Do I need to get Siri out here? Yes, get Siri, please. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Your timer is set for 10 minutes. All right, dope. Do I have time to mow the backyard? Just get out and mow the backyard, <laughs> screw that. Oh, snap. Eww. Oh, they're, it's definitely done. Okay, so next step, crawfish and the shrimp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I definitely throw two back. Oh, yeah. It's getting closer. That's all right. I think these guys are feeling right about now. We got, no we're gonna have to pull them out because there's like pond water with them. See you there, Rick. Have fun. See you, Junior. Bye, Jimmy. Hey, Scott. See you later, dude. Ah, Daniel, stop it. See you later, dude. Bonzo, help me out. <laughs> I am. This all is right. a little barbaric. No, no, no. This be is all right. what you gotta do. No, no, no. I'll be all right. Sauna, you like sauna? We're getting her done. One more. Uno mas cardetto. See you later, dude. All right, uh, how, much, how long? Put the lid on. Um, <laughs> add the crawfish to the pot, stir gently, and maintain a rolling boil for about five, five minutes. ten if they're frozen, which, which we have friz, frozen shrimp. Okay. So ten minutes because the shrimp are frozen. So the shrimp are frozen, so it's saying ten minutes, but the crawfish are not. It's not going to like burn them. I would just meet it in the middle. Seven eight, and a half. Seven and a half or eight. Yeah, okay, that's okay. fine. And then, so we're going to get stirred a little more. Okay. And then... Turn off heat and cover the pot. All right, we're giving her the old stir. So don't have the lid on right now. Eat, correct. It's not. You can't well, stir when it's hot. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying when you stop stirring. And then but it said stir for like five minutes and then put it on a sit. Stir gently, but like I don't think you have to do it for the whole seven and a half minutes. And then turn off the heat and cover the pot. Leave the pot on the burner for 30 minutes. I don't think you're supposed to have a lid on it, but it's fine. Really? What? Because they tell you to put the lid on later. But, I mean, I don't think it's gonna hurt. So, well, they say you're supposed to stir for five minutes? No, it just says stir gently, and then it's, there's a comma, and then it's five minutes. So the comma's a big, big thing. Okay, so no lid for five minutes. Yeah, and then okay. you turn it off for 30 minutes with the lid on. <laughs> look at that. Dude, look at the, what happened. We almost had a fire. <laughs> what? It's all good. We definitely should have left the lid yeah, on. Yeah, see, I told him to not put the lid on. He put the lid back on, overspilled. It's all good now, I shut it really? off. We gotta wait 30 minutes now. It's been 30 oh, where minutes. are they at? Oh, there they are. Look at these guys. They're like orange. Look, look, little freaking lobsters in here. Oh, there's a little guy. There you go. Look at him. All right, well, we're going to give her the old stir. I think we're ready, Bonzo. Yep. We need to take this and go strain it. It's hot. You got it. It's heavy. Well, let's get it. I got it. Oh, we're losing the air. Still super hot. Oh, this looks absolutely incredible. It smells good. Enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go spread it around the table. Just give this a bell. Look at this little spread. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, awesome. oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Look at this. This is good. This looks delicious, folks. Absolutely freaking delicious. All right, so this is where Bonzo. You want to come over here, buddy? Oh, we got these. Don't forget. Oh, we, we, I wasn't even going to use plates, but maybe but, put like a disposable for your wrap, for your uh, tail and stuff. Give me this. I need this. All right, are you gonna show me how to do this? Or how yeah. hard are these guys? No, no, they're not bad. Do you do a little twisty? Okay. You like pinch, and then you just pull. <sighs> oh, that's hot. Yeah. And so you can suck meat? out the brains. Some people what's, don't what's like that this. strap. That's poop. Why? I thought it'd be clean. <laughs> I don't think that's poop. Did I? You eat oh, that. Oh, that's 100% poop. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's poop. <laughs> All right, so then once you've got it, the tail ripped off, you just rip up this, basically this little white piece, kind of spread it. You just kind of. You, you can suck it. We don't have the melted butter, but. There you go. See? I haven't left any of it in there. 
All right, here we go. Good old fashioned crawfish. Mmm. It tastes like a like a Walmart version of a lobster. Lobster. Yeah, that's what. It's I pretty think. good though. It's pretty good for Honestly, that's for us. And then you can take the how head. How do you suck the head? So then you just get out of here. Was that brains? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> Got it. Pretty good though. It tasted great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me get some of this. We don't have any um, sauce, do we? I didn't notice very much spice on that. No, I didn't either. So after the crawfish, got the old shrimp here. I wish we had some cocktail sauce, but we didn't come prepared. I don't think you're supposed to use cocktail sauce. Oh really? Because it's not cold. No. That's pretty good though. Sure, what did you think of the shrimp? I'm gonna go in for. I'm gonna go in for a second shrimp here. What was your initial reaction? I honestly thought there's not a lot of seasoning. There's not much seasoning. I think we went a little light on the seasoning. But it tastes really good. The shrimp tastes good. For frozen shrimp, I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. All right. So now we've got andouilles, which are gonna be that's that looks like You're an angle. So that might not be an angle cut. That's an angle cut right there. There's your andouille. One. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's good. That makes it taste like you're eating at a crawfish boil. Like yeah. our crawfish are not hot enough. No, that's hot enough. I'm going for a little potato. Potato action. This one's actually cooked. That's hot. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now. This was andouille? No, that's kibasa. kibasa. This one's kibasa. That's hot. Get a little kibasa. It tastes like a wiener. What about? Let me let me see this old bay. Good. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be revolutionary here. A little old bay on the corn. This is, is this the last component. I think this is. This is the finale. Yeah, unless you want to just eat straight onion. Probably Lucy. You want up here? Lucy, no, don't bring her up here. No? No, Lucy, you gotta be good, buddy. We're eating, buddy. All right, here we go. Here comes the corn. Oh, hot. That's freaking hot. It tastes good. The core of mine is just like, absolutely steamy right now. The old bay on it. I would say we went light on the seasoning. It's always hard, because you don't want to go do like too you much. You don't want to go heavy. All right, so let's try this again. Crawfish. Pinch, twist. How do, do you just suck from here? Yeah, so I just leave it. I didn't do it. Kind of have to use your teeth. Kinky boy. All right, here we go. It still didn't really suck that well. Kind of push it out, too. Pushing and sucking. Hmm. Then, last but not least, you can't really get much meat out of the claws. or not like crabs, but... Not bad. Pool Jet, it's your turn. Old Pool Jet, you haven't had a crawfish in how many years? I've never had one. It's a lot of years. Boom. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Get your... That's a, that's yeah. a beefcake right there. You got the technique down? You've watched Yeah, you, you, you've seen the technique, but you oh. also are from Florida, so you got that lobster grind over there. I mean, I feel like it's like a lobster, just smaller scale, right? Yeah, yeah. just so give what'd her... what'd you do? You pinch, pinch twist. Pinch twist. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. oh that's like pretty that, good. That was good, yeah. Just, yep. Ooh, well, that's, that might be... That's, that's a color. That might be poop. We thinking? Mm -hmm. You might want to dampen that one off with a little napkin there. <laughs> just stick it in your mouth. Oh, okay. So what 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 now? Just kind of bite and suck and twist and push. Huh? Bite, bite, suck, bite, twist, suck, and push. Twist and push. Okay. Four motions at once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat that part. You just gotta work it out. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Not bad, eh? What do you think? If you had a little butter, it'd probably be a little bit better. But I was expecting it to taste like lobster. Yeah. It doesn't taste like either. No. Kind of fish. No. Uh, what do you think it, it tastes like? It doesn't taste fishy either. Because no. you're just you're a Florida it's... guy. It doesn't. To me, it reminds me of lobster, but maybe not. Maybe I mean you would maybe know. Maybe like lobster is chewier. Lobster. Well, oh, is it? That's the only thing. I mean, like the taste. It's similar. It's like a shrimp. Yeah. Gotcha. What, what was, are you? Do you think it's better or worse than what you thought? It's better than I thought. I guess. It's better than you thought. What is Very your what is, what is your thought? For you cooking, it was pretty good. I just about killed everybody by having it go over. But honestly, I'd say it's pretty good. The shrimp I like more than I expected to like. For I mean, frozen shrimp. Yeah, I was just kind of like, I don't know. Shrimp's all right, but like Walmart. this this is pretty good. And honestly, the crawfish. Next time we actually catch a decent sized crawfish, we're gonna catch and cook them. Like, or we can catch them in a trap. Yeah, good fry. And uh, we'll have to find a new spot, obviously, to trap them. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The folks and I. Mace, Pulljet, Bonzo, and myself, we're gonna enjoy ourselves a little feast here. And if you guys enjoy a crawfish boil, if we did something wrong, we didn't use enough seasoning. I would say that we probably didn't use enough seasoning, but we didn't go overkill. If you guys wanna comment any of that, leave the comments down in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, and peace.